How you doing? It's Ryan with 10 City 5 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build showcase of this 2020 Ford F-350 for the Bushkill Fire Department. How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at today is this 2020 Ford F-350 support vehicle for the Bushkill Fire Department. We'd like to take the opportunity to thank the Bushkill Fire Department for trusting us to build their new support vehicle. The vehicle is, as we said, a 2020 Ford F-350. Uh, we have a Duramag aluminum service body on the back of it. Um, what we're looking at up top is we have a sound off signal and roads light bar, dual color configuration with a white override to provide additional scene lighting. We've got four inch M powers in the grill with the white override. We've got M powers on both sides of the front fender with the white override. Uh, we've got a headlight flasher installed which is currently on park kill. All of our white flashing is also on park kill. Uh, we also installed a fire tech uh, scene light down here to provide additional scene lighting so they can use this off-road. They don't have to turn the full scene of the car on and uh, they can definitely light up the area. So as we said before, we've got four inch M-Power studs on the side of the front bumper. Uh, they did their own graphics on the vehicle. Nice for gold leaf hand done. And then you can see the Duramag body on the side. We installed some flashlights for them, Streamlight 180s in the compartment here for them. Another open compartment with a shelf. And then the back compartment, another open compartment with the shelf. This is an eight foot body. We also installed a Kuzmol auto eject back here. So this is also tied into the blueprint system. So all of our lights and controls, everything on the vehicle is controlled through blueprint. So there's no tapping of the factory wires and we're able to gain our starter signal through the blueprint link module. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle, you can see we have the Magnum headache rack installed to the vehicle. We have four inch sound off signal M powers that are flashing in a red amber configuration. They've relocated the backup camera to the body. They also did a Chevron graphics package. We'd also like to give a shout out to Taylor at Taylor's Tins for giving us some license plate covers to give our customers the ability to cover up their plates so we don't have to show those off. Check them out at his website, taylorstins.com. In the back compartment, got another adjustable shelf. And then we have another adjustable shelf in this compartment with some parts that came off the vehicle when we did the install for the console. And then we've got another shelf with our flashlights installed in it. Taking a look under the back seat, we installed one of our electronics compartments. What our electronics compartment do is give you a vented area up front, gives us uh, plenty of space for our fuse panels, our blueprint controller. We have our Kuzmol auto eject. We move the factory inverter over here and it gives them room to mount any other electronics if they ever down the road put a modem or anything else like that. And what's great about it is when the seat's down, all of our electronics are protected. Nobody's gonna be able to kick it and it provides very easy accessibility. And you can also see we installed another Streamlight 180 light on the back of the console. Front console on the vehicle, uh, one of our standard designs. Uh, we have a map pocket at the back. Uh, we then have our uh, custom cup holders and storage pocket. We have our blueprint controller. We installed one of their customer supplied radios. Uh, we have a knockout here for a future radio that they can just remove the panel, install it. And we also reintegrated our USB outlet for the radio control. So taking a look at the controls of the truck, we have our arrow stick controller, which is built into the back of the light bar. We have our front takedown. We have our left and right alleys, which make the both sides of the car light up. Our front flood for just our fire tech light in the lower grill. We have our cruise feature, which is the steady glow. We have our low power feature, which dims the output of the lights down. And then we have the ability to turn on all of our rear scenes as long as them also being in the reverse function. Taking a look at the vehicle in our drive response mode, you can see that our white bar pattern has changed. Uh, we've added some flashing white into it. We've incorporated the flashing white into the grill lights and the side fender lights, and we also have our headlight flasher flashing. We'd like to take the opportunity once again to thank the Bushkill Fire Department for allowing us to build their new support vehicle. Uh, if you have any questions about this vehicle or any other vehicles that we've built in the past or a vehicle for your department, we're happy to answer any questions you have. Shoot us a direct message. Make a comment on the video, share the video. We're more than happy to help you in your department.